Since the MacBook Pros have come out with OLED touch bars, everyone's been saying they're behind the game because they haven't incorporated touch displays onto the Macs. We've got touch bars, but not touch displays. Lots of people are thinking all computers should have touch interface these days, both on the display or on the controls, wherever. The Microsoft Surface Book and Surface Pro 4 are fully fledged PCs that can also kind of just be used with touch interface. So it's easy for people to say that Macs are behind the game because the rest of the PC industry has moved to either being a detachable or a fold around tablet or sometimes just a laptop that also has a touchscreen. Why though has Apple not decided to go into this industry? Apple was one of the biggest key adopters of multi-touch technology when they introduced the iPhone. There was barely a tablet industry before the iPad and Apple still dominates the industry in terms of tablets that are just touchscreens and they don't really need to have a keyboard attached to them, especially not a mouse. And Apple's leading the smartwatch industry. So Apple's pretty good at multi-touch technology so why not bring it to their iMac lineup. Most recently, Phil from Apple, Phil Schiller, made some comments over that issue in an interview, which I have them here for you. Our instincts were that it didn't, but what the heck, we could be wrong. Of course, he's talking about putting touchscreens on the Mac and why that's a bad idea. So our team's worked on that for a number of times over the years. We've absolutely come away with the belief that it isn't the right thing to do. Our instincts were correct. So we can safely say Apple has at least tried to put touchscreens on the Mac. It's not like they're not open to the idea. Their R&D department has at several points over the past few years made Macs with operational touch interfaces. And Phil is saying that Apple never found an intuitive way to make it work. Watch, iPhone, iPad, MacBook, iMac, they really are all computers. Each one is offering customers something unique and each one is made with a simple form that perhaps is eternal. People in the industry may question them, we don't, for some very simple reasons. Phil is saying that each one of their products is really good at being a certain thing and that the devices that do require a touch interface absolutely use it and they take full advantage of it. And the devices that don't don't need a touch interface that work really well without one will continue to not have one for some logical reasons. We think of the whole platform. If we were to do multi-touch on the screen of the MacBook, that wouldn't be enough. Then the desktop wouldn't work that way. In other words, Phil is saying if we added touch screens to the MacBooks, we'd have to add them to the iMacs and that would be a very unintuitive way of using your Mac, or at least he thinks so. He thinks it'd be a disaster to operate your computer by reaching up your hand pretty up high or reaching up from your keyboard, one or the other. We've done tons of user testing on this and it turns out it doesn't work. Touch surfaces don't want to be vertical. It gives great demo, but after a short period of time, you start to fatigue and after an extended period of time, your arm wants to fall off. It doesn't work. It's ergonomically terrible. Touch surfaces want to be horizontal, hence iPads. This I find very interesting because Phil admits that touchscreens on Macs makes a great first impression, which means that the first time they tried it out, it was great. They even had people come into Apple and try it out and try to get used to it. And he's saying that most people like it at first, but after a while, everyone just goes back to a keyboard and mouse because it tires your arm and when it comes to a desktop interface a mouse is likely the way to go now i'm very curious to hear what phil thinks of the microsoft surface studio or a lenovo wraparound book because the idea there is you can push the monitor down so it is horizontal and then you can touch the interface that way instead of having to reach across the desk or you can push your laptop screen all the way flat then it is horizontal i don't know what he'd think about that i'm guessing he'd probably say something along the lines of making a laptop that can flip all the way around makes it harder to make a beautiful computer and it wouldn't look the Johnny Ive way and they want it to look right and that just wouldn't look correct. Now having personally used the Surface Book and Surface Pro 4, I can't admit that I kind of needed the keyboard and mouse to do everyday stuff on it. Technically, yeah, you can use a lot of Windows 10 with just the touch interface, but I always fell back to keyboard and mouse at the end of the day. Maybe it's just me being used to Macs, but I did notice that for Windows 10 to work, you had to kind of push the definition of a keyboard and mouse OS to make it also an eligible touch OS. And if you recall from my Surface Pro review, I recalled Windows 10 being an okay desktop OS and a terrible touch OS. Hence the failure of Windows Mobile. You can't connect a keyboard and mouse to your Windows 10 phone. Maybe you can, but just don't Okay, just don't do that. Stop getting complicated. Surface Pros sell really well, I think, because most people are, are getting a Surface keyboard or a Surface mouse alongside it. I have never seen a Surface owner who just has the Surface, no keyboard or mouse. It's because as a tablet, it really can't do that much. You need it to kind of turn into a PC for it to do stuff. So if you're upset that Apple decided not to add touchscreens to the iMacs and now the MacBooks, I suggest being grateful. It is like Thanksgiving coming up, right? Isn't it good that all tech companies don't think of the same thing for their products? Isn't it 
nice that we have a diverse range of products to choose from. I'm glad we don't have a slightly different version of the Surface Pro that's just made by Apple, because I probably wouldn't like it as much as the just standalone MacBook or standalone iPad. We have a very capable company named Microsoft, who thinks one OS can work on all devices and that a touch screen should be used across any device. We also have a very capable company known as Apple, who thinks desktops and laptops are good with a mouse, and that it's better off if we have different styles of operating system between our devices that are touch and not touch. I think it's good that we have companies that think differently like that. And personally, I do think there is a way you could have a single OS with a touch interface across all your devices. I don't think Microsoft's figured it out, but I think it's possible. On the other hand, I do think if there's a good way to do it, Apple would be doing it. And since they're not, engineers and humanity as a whole has just not found a good way to make that happen. But it could happen one day. We'll see. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.